Tonight we're going to explore these purple street lights, these black lights. These lights that are popping up all over the place in just about every city and in every state. You may have seen a local news story in your area giving you a simple explanation as to why there are suddenly black lights all over the highways. But in this video, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna look into them, we're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna drive around a bit and show you just how widespread that they are, not just in one little area and just a block. Then we'll go into the light and do some testing to see how certain things react to these black lights. We're gonna get a first-hand look at these lights and not just go by what the news stories are telling us. We're gonna go out and see these for ourselves. You'll see in this first couple of minutes that it's not just one area. It's not just a purple bulb here and there. You'll see that it's entire stretches of highway, on ramps. It makes it look as though you're going through a tunnel of black lights. In this video, we're gonna talk about the narrative they're providing, and we're gonna see if it makes any sense. Is there any logic to the narrative the mainstream is providing? Or is it like many other things where there's a reason they just don't want us to know about? But we're gonna get out, we're gonna check it out, we're gonna talk about it, and you can form your own opinion. So, let's turn off the TV, and let's go check these things out for ourselves, shall we? What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Thanks for being here. So as you can see, uh, I am here with the purple street lights, the black lights, if you will, that we talked about. Um, so we talked about it last week, if you didn't see that video. So these, these lights, these street lights are being installed all over the state, I found. And then after a little more digging, I found they're being installed in several other states across the country. And with a little more digging, I found they're popping up in other countries. So they're showing up all over the world. And when they first, what first got me interested was Someone told me about some locally, and I hadn't seen them yet. And a, but a news story popped up and said that they uh, they installed all these lights, and it's a defect, right? It's a it's a factory defect in the lights, so they're showing up purple as black lights, and um, that the manufacturer, the maker of the lights, is working on it. They're aware of the problem. They're working on it, and they're going to get it corrected. So my first thought was, if it's that many lights, how are they installing that many lights and not realizing there's a problem? So there's so many of them. They're here on the overpass of the highway. They're on the highway. And this is just in one spot in one location in Florida. And they're all over the state and all over other states and all over the world as well. So it baffled me as to how they would these lights i'm sure cost a lot of money per light right when i install one led headlight bulb because they're expensive it's a pair of two each one as i install it i test it before i put it back together why do i do that for one i don't want to waste my time my time is not costing me any money my personal time but I don't want to waste my time and have to do it again if I hook it all back up and then it doesn't work or it's not the right shade that I'm looking for on the Kelvin scale or whatever it is. And they cost me $100, right? So $50 per bulb. Now these, on the other hand, cost much more than $50 per bulb. And the time is money. So it costs a lot of money for the time it takes to install these. So I would have to guess that it's not possible that they install these lights without testing them. And I, I would think that they test each one, or at least one here and there, at the very least. I think it's probably each one, but at least one here and there, right? Because it would be silly to just go and install, waste all that money on something that 
is defective and now you wasted all the all the man time installing them and now you're gonna have to redo it not just a few hundreds thousands so I thought that was odd that they wouldn't test them that was my initial thought but then I said when I found out it was in other places within the state I thought how is this going on how, how is this going on nobody communicated that there's an issue with these bulbs a manufacturer defect then I found the exact same thing with the exact same local news stories pretty much word for word exact same about the manufacturer defect they're working on it and don't worry it's not gonna cost the taxpayers anything the manufacturer is gonna make you know make good on it and they're gonna fix them all so but this is going on for months months later still nothing's been done you know and this is the alleged story they're giving so if this is the case and this is going on every state right and they're, they're a defect states all over the country countries all over the globe how is nobody for one how is the manufacturer not saying hey you know sorry we got a we got a problem with these lights they're actually black lights they're purple they're not the white lights that you guys are ordering and if they're not doing that because that's going to cost if they're saying the manufacturer is going to take care of it he's replacing them all how many there have been installed that are defective across the globe i have no idea just here there's so many in the area right here there, there's probably at least a hundred this way and that way just right here right so that's going to cost them a lot of money if that were the case but if none of this is happening how are no local governments communicating with each other and getting the word out there saying hey to all of you guys that buy these lights which apparently is everybody in the world just so you know there's an issue with them they're black lights they're not the white lights we wanted and we're expecting so nobody has communicated this nobody anywhere in the world tests even a single light before they plug before they hook them up they just come out throw them up and that's it we're going home just assume they're white and they're all good and then just continue to keep doing them that doesn't make sense to me and it doesn't sit, make sense to most people so we talked about it and i want to come out here and see show you right so that and this is and a lot of you have commented too that yeah you're seeing them popping up especially on highways especially on ramps for some reason right and they're also in local areas i've heard reports are in local areas of um you know around cities and things like that not specifically on highways but they do seem to be predominantly on highways and on ramps i know of a couple locations just locally in the area where I am right now where I came for this um, where they're on on ramps they might not be on a stretch of highway but they're on the on ramps I've also noticed we can't see it right now and it might be hard hard to show from ground level um, on video anyway but the other day I came out I wanted to see what they look like in the daylight to see if they look much different than the other lights you know the fixture itself and they do they don't look anything like the other ones so they're not the same ones but also what i noticed is there's what appears to be like a little antenna on top of these purple lights why would lights need an antenna i don't know a typical street light does it need an antenna now the other white ones i traveled around to some of the white ones that i marked that i know aren't purple and they do not appear to have the antenna. Um, so I'm gonna come out here again with the RF meter and just see, because we know a lot of things have been said and the assumption has been made by the majority of people from my research and from the previous video and all of your comments that this is not a manufactured defect, that these are exactly what are supposed to be here. These are exactly what they ordered and it's not just a local thing. They didn't just come out and say, hey, we want purple lights for some reason in the street. For some reason, globally, we'll focus on America, right? But it is globally. For some reason, all across America, they're wanting purple lights installed on the highways. They're wanting all these purple lights installed on the highways because I don't buy and nobody else buys 
that this is just some mistake. I absolutely know, I, I don't even have to assume, I just know that it's not possible that everywhere in the entire country, every crew putting these up, it's not their policy to test them and that they don't test them. I'm guessing they test every single one as they put it up and it should be, they determine they're done with the light and move on to the next one when they verify that it is what it's supposed to be. So I don't believe for a second that nobody anywhere is testing any of them. That's just insanity. Is there a lazy worker here and there that's not testing them, just throwing them up? Absolutely, right? <laughs> Absolutely. But everywhere, in every, in every city, every county, every state that these are going up in the country, this is a defect, right? This is a defect, they say, and nobody's testing them because if they're testing them, obviously they would know. There'd be at least one guy somewhere that would be the hero and say, hey, wait a second, these are black lights. These aren't the white lights we ordered, right? So I am making the assumption that these are exactly what they ordered. This is intentional. Why? Now we ask why, right? Why do they want lights like this? Why do they need so many lights like this? And I don't believe that they're done here because more have recently been installed. And that's another thing too. If these are wrong and there's an issue and a known issue and there's been a local news story about it, why are you putting more up? These are, these are questions that uh, don't seem to have logical answers or the answers to them that they're giving aren't very logical. So then we have to ask, because we can assume this is intentional, right? We can assume they're not supposed to be white, but why, why? So it seems from my research and my thoughts and a lot of other things that we talk about on this channel and many other channels, we know of some things that, that we can't come straight out and say on this platform or many other platforms, unfortunately, because uh, American free speech is not free anymore. And there's some things they don't want us talking about for some reason. Why don't they want us talking about it? These are all questions we have to ask ourselves, right? Why? If, if we are free Americans, free to form our own opinions and free to have all the knowledge and share all the information we can to form our own opinions, discover truth for ourselves, why are things forbidden? Why are things hidden from us and why are things forbidden? Why are there forbidden words and forbidden phrases, things we can't talk about? Because they don't want people to talk about them. They don't want it widely known. Whatever the topic is, they don't want it widely known. They don't want a lot of people talking about it. Why, why the censorship? Why do they shut people down? They, you know, uh, platforms are censoring and just erasing people for talking about topics that are forbidden. This seems to me to be American state media, right? doesn't make any sense but these are things that should make every American question things right question why 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 even you know they talk about misinformation and things like that even if it is we have always been free to at least hear it and determine for ourselves right we've always had that ability and that freedom we always have so why now suddenly there's so many things they don't want us to talk about so there are going along with that there are several things along those lines that are forbidden we can't talk about that uh we have found and it can be it's been proven right anybody can find the information that that might glow under the black light right and there are patents to back this up it's not just talk it's not just conspiracy k eerie thing another thing they don't like you to say a phrase um there are patents that say things like luminol, right? Luminol, things like uh, words that start with, we'll just say uh, Lucifer, right? We'll just say Lucifer. We'll call it the devil, so we don't say it too much. The devil, right? So luminol and the devil glow under black light. Everybody knows about the luminol, right? Anybody who's seen any crime investigative series on TV or whatever um, knows luminol is what they use. It glows in the black light. Now, why would they have a, a glowing agent within things that they want to give you, right? Why is there glowing agents in the Kool-Aid? Why has it been documented that 
the Kool-Aid not only has glowing agents, but it's been shown to glow, right? It glows people, right? Makes people glow. Um, I recently, I've seen videos of this, like many of you probably have, and people have their opinions. Some people say, hey, that's BS, it's bogus. And my only hope is, like I always say to everybody, don't believe what I say. Just like don't believe what the TV says. Don't believe what the news says. Just as much as don't just believe what I say. The difference is, I'm not lying to you. The difference is I am out to help people always and I share information so people can have good information and people can do research. So I encourage everybody to research. Don't believe what I say. Take the information and look into it yourself. That's all. Do your own research. What they call the four dangerous words. Anybody can have the information that I have, that I've found, right? It's there for everybody. Use sources like DuckDuckGo, not Google, uh, to get information that's unfiltered, uncensored, take it and look into it yourself, see for yourself. But I'm putting these pieces together, right? There are these things, and there are patents to back up this, this luminol and the devil thing that I'm talking about, there's patents, right? There are patents that will demonstrate this, that you can find that are opened by the maker of the Kool-Aid, will show you the patent and you will find what is within it, right? Or will it be all of it? I don't know, but uh, probably not probably not going to be that open with you but some of it yes so there are glowing agents within these things and there, there's so much lately that we have to kind of put together put the pieces together right little things that don't match up all these things that are like oh so rare or crazy or oh that that's a mistake manufacturer defect right manufacturer defect but when you start putting them together they start to make you think crazy things, right? Crazy things. And I, I, I'm, I'm with everybody on that. Reality today and the past year and a half sounds absolutely crazy. Five years ago, I never would have believed if my present self went back and told my past self what today is like. Never would have believed it. I'd have been like, ah future self took up drinking or something because he's back here in the past talking nonsense never would have believed it it sounds absolutely crazy reality today sounds like a crazy sci-fi mystery drama suspense I, I don't i don't know but what i do know is i don't trust they <laughs> right i don't trust they um i don't think they are here to help us i think we are here to help ourselves and here in the real real world social media the real media citizen journalists private media like like me and there's a lot of good people out here this is where you get information this is where you put pieces together right you take what they say you see what they show you and you look into it yourself because the tv and the mainstream is not doing that for us but i like many of you start to put pieces together and things just don't make sense. Irony, right? Well, it's just ironic. There's luminol and there's that devil thing inside the Kool-Aid that can be proven. And now among many other things, right? There's so many other things lining up. But among other things, that happens at the same time. Suddenly, you got these manufactured defects popping up across the entire country. Most people in the comments of that previous video said, yeah, I've seen these too. How weird, I've seen this too. And other people are, that you will, if you're not seeing it yet, you will, coming soon to a town near you, uh, they ask to see them. So here they are. But I find it ironic, but I don't believe in irony, especially after the past year and a half. Irony, I don't think is a real thing. Uh, but it's, we'll, we'll call it ironic for the sake of the video, right? For the sake of talking about it. I find it ironic that you got things like that going on with the luminol and the devil stuff within the Kool-Aid. And then you've got black lights. Black lights posting up everywhere as street lights. And every place in this country, you know, everybody, every agency that's putting these up saying it's a manufacturer defect. So who's the manufacturer? What did they do? And they and all the news stories are identical too, but we know how that works. The mainstream works together. Identical news stories across the country are, are nothing new, right? They mirror each other. 
And these are just little local news stories, but they're all the same. And they're all saying, don't worry, don't worry, taxpayer, it's not gonna cost you anything, just a little mistake made by the manufacturer, and the manufacturer says they're gonna completely take care of it, it's all gonna be good. That, if that were true, I feel bad for that manufacturer of these lights, whoever it is, let's just say it's GE. I'm not making a claim that it is, but let's just say that it's GE. I would imagine that would bankrupt them because <laughs> thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of these things that they're gonna have to replace at their expense because they made a mistake. And somehow this mistake went on for so long that nobody caught it or shared it. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't buy it doesn't make sense and when it doesn't make sense there's usually a reason for that especially in the past year and a half when things don't add up when they're throwing two and two out there and they're saying it's seven but you're like no it's four it's four I'm telling you it's four and they're saying no you're crazy it's seven it's always been seven what's wrong with you and they try very hard to convince you and Unfortunately, they do get a lot of people convinced that it's seven. Stick with it. Stay by your line in the sand. It's four. So, my question to you, why, right? Let's talk about it, shall we? Why, what's up with these lights? Why are they popping up everywhere? Are you seeing them in your area yet? Are you seeing more of them yet? Have you seen the same news story in your area? The same thing they run here in Florida? That is just a mistake? Just a mistake and the manufacturer is working on it. And what will glow under these mistake lights? What will glow under these? And if that's the reason, what could it possibly be for? Hmm. Why would they want these on highways and on ramps? Would it be to track something, to control something? And then with the antennas, we're gonna come back with the RF meter and we're, and we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna test that as well because there's also a lot of speculation that they uh, are also linked to the five and then the letter of the alphabet. Unfortunately, another phrase that uh, they don't want us to share too much. We don't want everybody running around talking about that and looking into things, thinking for themselves, doing their own research, coming from the same people who, who literally and the, printed a mainstream article saying that the four dangerous words that are hurting everything that's going on are do your own research can't make this stuff up they said those are the four dangerous words when people encourage you to do your own research they're here to harm you they're hurting things it's just the opposite when the media is saying don't look into this yourself or anybody when anybody is saying don't look into this yourself just believe what we say and by god don't do your own research that's a dangerous source of information. Every legitimate source that wants to legitimately help people should always encourage people to look into what they say. Look into it yourself. So I also, I brought with me some black light paints uh, so we can test that out. And I'll, I'll tell you already, I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera, but I'm already amazed that this one actually isn't even a black light paint but it's one of my paints that I have found to be reactive in a black light, and I can actually see it in the, in the monitor there. This is absolutely glowing in the black light. And I'm actually near the one, the one white light, so I'm going by the power of the other surrounding lights, and this is absolutely glowing in the black light. Let's check it out. So we're gonna do a bit of finger painting. Let's see. See what we got. A little bit of black light red. A little bit of black light orange. And I can tell you, I hope the camera is picking this up pretty well because I can see it just right here. Black light yellow. Black light pink. I can see how reactive these are very, very well. Actually, better than I even expected. And I shouldn't be surprised, but I'm a little surprised how reactive they are. Let's do some finger painting. Look at this. Look at that. Look how... So, for anybody that's saying, oh, that's not black light, you know, that's just an odd color. 
These are absolutely, absolutely glowing in the black light. T L. Let's see, fix that up. T. Absolutely glowing in the black light. These, my friends, are black lights. This is glowing as if it was under just a typical black light. But who would I be if I didn't bring an actual black light poster with me to test it too? As you can see, the black light poster is reacting almost as good as the paint. Actually, the uh, I think the paint's reacting a little bit better, but this is reacting to the lights. So these black lights, now you've seen them. If you haven't seen them in person for yourself, we're gonna come back and visit these, like I said, with, with the meter. Um, but uh, what do you think? Why would they want these along highways and on ramps and within cities? Would they go through such a measure to look for things like luminol or the devil thing? Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Hmm. Odd, huh? Ironic, right? What's more believable? That scenario, installing black lights across the entire country and across the entire globe, is it more believable that they would do that? Or is it more believable that not a single worker in this entire country installing these lights has tested a single one? and they're just blindly installing these like crazy and going home. And also that the manufacturer is gonna cover the cost completely, completely, which I would imagine would be labor too, because they're saying the tax, the taxpayer is not gonna to have to pay a dime. Don't worry, you're not gonna to have to pay a dime. So that indicates that yes, they're gonna co cover the cost of labor as well as the cost of replacement lights, which clearly is going to bankrupt them. What they hope is People think that this is a local story. They hear that story on the news, believable. Yeah, I saw about a hundred of those lights down on the highway, right? Don't communicate with anybody, silence everybody. This is what they want. They don't want you talking about it. They want to give you a simple little explanation that you're happy with and you'll go home and be like, yep, yeah, that's it and look no further. But when you start to look out and reach out into the real world here with you and I and see that the exact same thing is going on everywhere, it becomes less believable. Why? Because it's not believable. Because we're being fed BS, as usual. So, which story, which scenario do you find more likely? A or B? A or B? These are here for a reason they don't want us to know? Or this is a giant mistake in a country full of completely lazy workers that just waste taxpayer money and they don't do a thing? Don't do a thing. A or B, which one's more believable to you? Anyway, thanks for being here. I appreciate you like always. Share your comments. I always wanna hear them. I wanna see what you're seeing in your area. I wanna see what you think. Maybe, maybe you've heard more, maybe you've seen more. But what I've seen so far, most people are on the same page and I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear your opinion. And what do you think of these? What do you think of these? And stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna come back. We're gonna test the RF meter, like I mentioned. And I'm very curious to see. And we may find, like we've been seeing for some time now, many little things that they say are unrelated and also are, are crazy happen to be related, all linked together. It would be way too much of a coincidence for everything we're seeing the past year and a half, two years. All these crazy, rare, first ever things, right? Happening at the same time. That's too much of a coincidence for them to not be related. So stay tuned, we're gonna do more on this. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for being here, I appreciate you. Twisted Luck Truth, I'll see you soon.